Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be building a powerful Q&A system that can process and answer questions from multiple types of data files. We'll be using Streamlit for the interface, Hugging Face for generating responses using language models, and Face for storing and retrieving the data efficiently. If you're excited about this project, let's dive in. In this project, we'll create an application that allows users to upload different types of files such as PDFs, DOCX, or TXD, or even provide URLs and ask questions about the content inside those files. The system will process the input, store it in a vector database, and retrieve relevant information to generate answers using a hugging face language model. Let's break it down step by step and look at the code behind this system. First things first, we need to set up the necessary libraries. We are using Streamlit for the user interface, hugging face for language models that will generate our answers, face to create a vector database where we will store the embeddings of our input data, PYPDF2, Python docs, and other libraries to read different file formats, and Dotenv to manage our hugging face API key securely. You'll also need to install these libraries, which you can do using pip. I'll be showing you how each part of the code works as we go through the steps. Next, let's talk about how we handle file uploads. The first part of the code allows users to upload files, such as PDFs, DOCX, or text files. Based on the file type selected, we process the content accordingly. If the user uploads a PDF file, the code uses PYPDF2 to read each page and extract the text. If it's a DOCX file, we use the Python docs library to extract the text from the document's paragraphs. For TXD files, it reads the content directly. We also support URLs. If a user provides a link, the system uses the web-based loader from Langchain to fetch the content of that web page. This flexibility allows users to upload different types of files or input a URL, and the system processes them seamlessly. Once we extract the text from the input file, the next step is to break it down into smaller chunks. Why do we need to do this? Large documents need to be split so the system can process them efficiently and search for answers in smaller sections. We use Character Text Splitter from Langchain to split the text into chunks of 1,000 characters with an overlap of 100 characters. This ensures that we don't lose context between chunks, which is important for generating accurate answers. Now that we have our text in smaller chunks, we need to convert it into a numerical format that the system can understand. This is where Hugging Face Embeddings comes in. We use a pre-trained model, Sentence Transformer slash All Mpnit Base V2 which generates embeddings for each chunk of text. Embeddings are numerical representations of text that capture the semantic meaning. For example, two similar sentences will have embeddings that are closer in the vector space. These embeddings are then stored in a face index. Face is a fast similarity search engine that helps us efficiently store and retrieve embeddings. After we generate the embeddings for all the text chunks, we store them in a face index. This index is responsible for finding the most relevant documents when a user asks a question. We create a face vector store and add the text embeddings to it. Face allows us to search through these embeddings quickly and return the most relevant ones when a query is made. Now that we have our embeddings stored, it's time to handle user queries. When a user asks a question, the system needs to find the most relevant documents in the vector database. Using FAISS, we retrieve the top matches for the query and then we pass those to a hugging face model to generate an answer. The hugging face model, in this case, is Mistral 7B Instruct V0.2, which is designed to answer questions based on the context provided. The retrieved documents are used as context for generating the answer, and the model returns a natural language response based on that. Now, let's talk about the user interface. The application is built using Streamlit. Streamlit is a great tool for quickly creating interactive web apps in Python. On the front end, users can choose the type of input they want to provide, whether it's a PDF, DOCX, TXT file, or a URL. After uploading the file or entering the URL, they can click a button to process the input. The process data is stored in a session variable. Once the data is ready, users can enter a question, and the system will display the answer generated by the Hugging Face model using the content from the files they uploaded. We also added a feature to track question answer history. This is useful for users to refer back to previous questions and answers. The question answer history is stored in the session state, 
and the answers are displayed in the app as soon as the user submits their question. Now that we've covered the code behind the application, let's take a look at it in action. For example, let's upload a machine learning PDF and ask questions like, what is machine learning? Give me a brief history of machine learning. Or, what is the future of machine learning? What is machine learning? Give me a brief history of machine learning. What is the future of machine learning? As you can see, the system processes the file, retrieves relevant information, and answers the questions based on the content of the document. That's all for today's project. We've built a complete Q&A system that processes multiple types of data files and provides answers using hugging face models and face for efficient search. I hope you found this tutorial useful and that it gives you ideas for your own projects. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials. Feel free to drop any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Happy learning!